Hey there guys, it's your favorite backyard geographer again, and this time we're out in the field. Just a little bit away from Lone Pine, California, along some really interesting outcrops of rocks. You know, this is some granite, but it has a very unique story, something that takes place all the way back in 1872. So join me as we learn a little bit more as to why these rocks are exposed behind me. March 26th, 2.30 in the morning back in 1872, something would happen that would be felt all over the state. In fact, it would be felt as far as Nevada. What would that be? Arguably one of the largest earthquakes ever in California's written history. They think it was beyond a magnitude of 8.0. In fact, the earthquake origin was here in Lone Pine, California. What you see behind me is a ridge of rocks. This wasn't placed here on accident. This is actually a fault scarp, meaning that in that single event, all of this material behind me was lifted and raised. We found that in most of the area, there was an offset of about 20 foot vertically, 15 to 30 feet horizontally in this region. So now I'm on top of the fault scarp itself. So let's talk about that geology. What is a fault? So we have energy that's stored within the Earth's crust because the plates are constantly in motion. Well, that stress and tension builds up, and when that release occurs, it releases along an area or a weakness within that rock. And often, like in this case, it offsets. And that's what I'm standing on. You have to imagine that before that earthquake, this, where I'm standing now, would have been the same elevation as what's down below me. So let's talk about how much that was. The Sierra Nevada, again, lifted up 20 feet. That's a two-car garage. It lifted so quickly and abruptly that John Muir, who had a cabin over in Yosemite, was thrown from his bed and he hit the ground. So we're talking some major, major shaking and energy that was released. That's why it's been argued that this could have been the greatest magnitude earthquake in California's written and recorded history. The reason we don't know for a fact is because we did not have the appropriate tools at that time to measure the magnitude. So let's talk about a couple of the things that happened in this area. There were about 26 deaths, all of which were in centralized in the town of Lone Pine. Uh, there was a large adobe, it was a, a service center, it was for the soil doves of the desert. It's known as a brothel. The brothel itself was made out of adobe, which is mud. The earthquake made it essentially turn to powder and it crushed everyone inside the, the, uh, the building itself. The fatalities, although the number was large, there was also some conspiracy and problems with that. They initially pulled the, the men of the town out of the building and put them into the community cemetery and then threw everybody else uh, into a common grave. Since then, th that grave had then been dug up and some of the rights had been, you know, the wrongs had been righted for the most part. But there's still a little bit of history about that within it. Another interesting fact about the earthquake itself is that if you're coming up to Lone Pine along 395, there's a little lake down here, and it's called Diaz Lake. Diaz Lake is the result of that 1872 earthquake. That is essentially a sag pond, because as everything was moving, the earth literally sank down in that area that eventually filled with water and became a lake that we have today. joining me as I came to visit the Lone Pine Fault of 1872. Hopefully this teaches you a little bit more about earthquakes and just what the sheer magnitude and strength that they have and what they can do to our landscape. If you maybe have experienced an earthquake or you want to know more, be sure to comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll talk soon. This time, this did I interrupt you? No, I don't oh. know what I'm doing. Get ready. Let's go again. Dog, dog, sand, fish on the lake. At Diaz Lake.